Welcome to this mass transfer course or separation process course in which we're going to cover gas absorption and stripping by chemical engineering guy. This is what we're going to cover in this course and it is separated in eight sections as you can see first is introduction essentially what's the course for, who's this uh, recommended for and so on. Then we continue a very brief mass transfer review, overview of mass transfer, why do we need it, uh, diffusion, convection, maybe dimensionless numbers, also include uh, interface, um, mass transfer, mass transfer coefficients, and so on. This is actually, if you have taken any mass transfer phenomena course, you can skip this, but actually I will definitely recommend you just for you to remember the the units, the variables, lengths, and so on. Then we continue with gas absorption. The basics, what is gas absorption, why do we need it, what type of processes are used, and some equipment. Now, once we check out the gas absorption, we're going to cover these two main, I would say the most interesting part of absorption, which is packed columns and tray columns. They are of course inside this gas absorption part right here but what we're going to cover here is the very dilute cases in which we have maybe a gas with a very low concentration of let's say x let's say x is a contaminant in the gas phase and then we're going to use absorption in order to send this x to the liquid phase so x goes to the liquid phase in very dilute amounts let's say less than 10% of X. We're going to see pad columns, how to design them, a case study, exercises, the uh, best packaging recommendations, random or order package, and so on. Then we continue to tray columns, and the name implies this is via trays or plates. You have the column and you literally, or let's say physically, you separate these by trays. So what you want to do is to maximize the interaction of the gas phase, which are actually bubbles, with the liquid phase, which are going down by gravity. We see different type of trays, how do they work, advantages, disadvantages, and more importantly, we try to see which one is more convenient. Each has its pros and disadvantages, pressure drops, design, and so on. And I would say this is the main part of the course, or the core part, gas absorption, pad columns and tray columns. I include the theoretical concepts of advanced system, which is actually with reaction and concentrated and multi-component. So as stated before, guys, in the previous cases, we just want to learn how to interact with the gas phase, the liquid phase, and a very dilute X. But what will happen if you want to, or maybe you have a process in which you have X, Y, and C. This is called multi-component. Let's say it is at low concentrations, X, Y, and C. This is still a multi-component system. Now, what will happen if you have a higher concentration? Maybe you just have X, but you have it at maybe 30%. Well, here is most inter uh, mostly interesting because the molar flow of G clearly depends on X. So that's what we're going to cover as well. And reaction, we're going to see what happens if we have several reactions between these phases and components. This part right here, even though it seems very complex and very interesting, we're just going to cover this as a theoretical concept. Maybe even propose a case for each scenario, but the idea is that you get the overall knowledge on how to model this, not actually model it by hand. What we're going to do is use software simulation, actually Aspen Plus. We're going to use absorption with multi-component, maybe concentrated absorption, and why not, reactions. Finally, we make a conclusion on why do we need to study, how does it work, and more interestingly, I would say that absorption is one of the first units of separation processes you need to learn. First one will be flash separator, flash drum. You know that this goes as follows. You have a feed, it separates gas and liquid according to their temperature and pressure conditions. 
but this is assumed to be one stage operation we're going to see that in gas absorption we can have from one stage up to infinity stages okay so bear with me let's see a little bit more on introduction 